Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. I am Fiery Red Hero 8, and in this part, we are going to what be what I call living a day in the life of Hedwig. Because we have a lot of letters to deliver, so why don't we get started on those? A letter to Merlon in Toad Town. Well, we are right next door to his house, so let's go pay him a little visit. If you want me to predict your future, talk to me from across the table. Well, I don't want you to read my fortune. You are Merlon, correct? The name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. I wonder what it says. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Hmm? Who's it from? Hmm. Oh, my granddaughter, Merle. She recently entered the family business. Oomph. Is that so? Oh, I see. Interesting. She opened up her business at Dry Dry Outpost, deep in the desert. It's located somewhere quite off the main drag. She seems to be quite to be keeping busy. That's good to hear. Thanks so much for bringing this letter. I'll give you this. Get a star piece for that. Yeah, a lot, really all these letters give you is star pieces. So, let's see. And there is one letter I'm going to save for last that is a side quest. So... But I'll be saving that for last just because it's like basically back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Whereas the other letters you just deliver and you get a sharp piece. To Rusty in Toad Town. Now I always get this guy confused, but I believe he is the Scholar Toad. I probably am wrong, but let's go see. But how's everybody doing today? Is this him? Oh, salutations. You are Mario, are you not? Of course, I know who you are. I'm the wise toad, Rusty. Yay, we got it right. Pleasure meeting you. As you can probably tell, I love books and read all the time. Because I'm so well read, I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit with me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. You and are Rust Mr. Rusty, correct? The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. Okay, we don't need to read that again. Now, what could this be about? Hum. Hmm. How exceedingly strange. It's from Lava Lava Island. Yes, yes. It's a question from a curious kid there. My mind is quite in demand. Thank you, Paracary. I thank you for your quick delivery. I don't usually accept questions, but oh well. It's from a kid, and we must educate the younger generation. When I was a child, I had a curious mind as well. Still do. I'll get right on the answer. Thanks again for bringing this letter such a long way. Please take this as thanks. Alrighty then. But yeah. Hope everybody's doing well today. Today is Sunday, but this will not be posted until Monday. And basically today for me was a long day at work. And I'm also... Well, I'm not quite finished with my paper yet, but I'm taking a break. I have a paper that's due tomorrow. And of course, me being a procrastinator, decided to wait to the last minute of my break. But I've been working on it. I started it actually yesterday morning. And then I was finishing it up, or not finishing it up, but continuing it earlier this evening. But my brain just needed a little break. So, what's next? Mayor Penguin in Shiver City. Okay, then I will cut back to Shiver City and I will see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back in Shiver City. So let's go ahead and deliver this letter to Mayor Penguin give the wife an evil look. Oh. Of course, I don't have Paracary out, which we obviously need to deliver the letter. Mario, I do believe you've saved all seven star spirits. Okay, we've already read that before. Because I believe we read that, his dialogue, way back when. For me? Oh, it's from Yoshi, Yoshi Village. I don't know where that is. But I bet it's pretty far away. I'll read this later. Thank you very much. Oh, you just put it on your desk or put it in your pocket. Like a mayor. It's like... Oh, hang on. I'll give you this. And that's no offense to any mayors out there. Because, yeah, 50 to 75% of what I say is probably not even serious anyway. So please don't take that as such. But what's going on next? Let's see. 
before I get back to Toad Town and realize I could have taken a shorter route. Merlot at Shooting Star Summit. Well, that is a long way away. So I will see you guys in Shooting Star Summit. Okay, guys, we are back in Shooting Star Summit, along with the wonderful hypnotic music. And I don't think I've stated this before, but Merlovely, I believe her name is, she actually can find treasures and star pieces and I believe badges. Let's see if I'm right. And stuff flirting with Mari. Yes, star pieces, badges, or super blocks. But we are out of super blocks, so that would be irrelevant. But yeah, she can fi help you find these things here. And I'm sorry that I took so long in showing that. Let's go and deliver this letter to Marlowe, even though he is up high in this room. Oh, wow, he didn't even say anything that time. A letter for me? From Merle in Starborn Valley? Wow, news from my dad! Thanks, Mr. Postman! My dad writes all the time because he worries about me. My sisters and I are totally bad about writing back, though. Maybe I ought to write him a little more often, huh? You think? This is a treasure that I've kept for a long time. I'm going to give it to you as thanks. You could always come back and swap me for something for it. You keep it for a long time and then you end up giving it back to us. Well, we may not be the exact same star piece, but still. Okay, who's next? Feisty near Forever Forest. Okay. Yep, he's the little scared guard. So, I will cut back to when we are near Feisty. Okay, guys, we are back to see Feisty. I wonder who delivered a letter to him. I wonder who Bootler is. Ugh, oh no! No! This is from that ghost! It says, I'll creep up on you while you're sleeping. Boo! He loves scaring me. You think? Oh, really? Creeping? Darkness? Oh, woe is me. I'll never sleep. Get a hold of yourself, Feisty. Stand tall. Fear not. I'll be okay. Here, take this. Another star piece? Yeah, I don't know, Feisty. You may want to consider a different career choice. Nomad Mouse on the road. Okay. Well, I will be back when we get to Nomad Mouse. Okay, guys, we are back near Nomad Mouse, so let's give him his letter. I recently saw a bill of smoke over the northern part of the desert. There was a big thud as well. I wonder what it was. Hmm? Do you have any idea? I'm sure we do, but that was way back when. Not recently, anyway. Traveling with Nomad, Nomad Mouse, correct? A letter to me? From Mustafa? I heard the name, but I can't remember who he is. Are you serious? Anyway, thank you for delivering it. I'm surprised that you found me way out here. It's extremely hot traveling in the desert, so take care. Oh yeah, take this as my thanks. Don't hesitate. Please take it. Okay. We have three letters left, but this last letter is... Well, not that one. Um... Okay, I could have swore that there was another one that we had to, to go all over. I guess it's to Goom. Yeah, it is Goom Papa. Never mind. Um, okay, Minty is next, and she is back in Toad Town. So I will see you guys when I get to Minty. Okay, guys, we are back to Minty. Oh, she didn't say anything. Okay. It's kind of weird how some characters will say something, and then the others won't say anything for Paracarry to give the letter. To me? Who's it from? The wise Worcesterwood? Who's wise Worcesterwood? Thank you for making the flowers bloom so beautifully. Oh, it's a thank you note. It says, please drop by in Flower Field sometime. Wow, how delightful. But how does wise Worcesterwood know about me? Oh, excuse me, I'm rambling. This is a small gift to say thank you for delivering the letter. Please take it. That we will. And I believe the last one, last letter before the big letter side quest is Igor in Boo's shop. So, we must head back to Boo's mansion. Be right back. Okay, guys, we are back near Igor. So, we don't need anything. Let's just give him a letter. 
Actually, we probably could stock up on a few things here. A letter? Oh, right. An order list. Weird. This order's from, this order's from Gusty Gulch. That's right around the corner. Can't they just come here? Oh, well. My motto is from boo to you with a smile. Take this for your trouble. Okay.